Dude, I carried my mug and my uh, my coaster all the way upstairs. It was stuck to the bottom. I didn't even notice until I got all the way upstairs that the coaster came with me. All right, so let's see. Uh, first of all, do we have bribe? Yes. So we can go ahead and get the winning formulas. And then I'm going to get into a fight because I didn't realize I didn't have no encounters. Um, live and let live. It's fine. I got to capture calmly and stuff anyways. And then we'll see what flying dudes we have to capture. We should have most of them done. We need four of each. I probably even have four of, like, the sim ones. Just from doing that dungeon. Live and let live! So we probably need, like... One or two of the middle areas where I didn't have capture weapons yet. Is there a flying enemy in Macarena? Those are good. I'll be right back. That's why you get first strike. I was just seeing if I got lucky and got some of the enemies we have to capture on my way over. Because I still have a couple enemies in the calm lands I gotta capture. Look at my chocobo just chilling there. Just <laughs> See you, Lulu. I'm gonna need ya. Save in a separate slot unless I change my mind. Just in case I change my mind about this, but... Should be fine. Alright, so... Uh... First of all, do we have the... So let's let's take a look here. I love this guidebook so much. It actually gives me everything I need. I don't have to Google anything. Uh, all right. So first of all, we need this Alaskan sandworm from Bicanel, and then. Oh god, I don't even... I can't even tell. <laughs> I can't tell what enemies are flying enemies from these names. Like, look at the, the Thunder Plains enemies are called Melusine, Eroge, Buer, Gold Element, Kisariku, Larva, Iron Giant, and Quackdar. I don't even know what if any of those are flying enemies. Is the Buer a flying enemy? I think he is, right? So check the... Thing. This book's got everything. Yeah, viewer. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta capture four viewers. Uh, I don't remember if the desert has flying enemies. Is the Alkion a flying enemy? He is, but he's not a one-eyed flying enemy. So it might just be the... Might just be the viewers that we need. And then we need a Alaskan sandworm. We're cap here we go. Should have done the should have done the sands. So I gotta do the cactuar crap too. Well, I don't know if we'll even do that. I don't know 
if I care enough to do that. I'm not gonna get Riku's ult and weapons, so. Because it's not that great. Our enemies here. Hello? Yeah, I feel like I got the rest of them. I don't know if I got Ariman. I don't want to go too far because I have to walk all the way back. Hey, you, Malky! I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, first of all, that those two lines together was pretty funny. But also, why did Waka call it Mackina? Is he hungry? Does he want a Big Mac? Why, why did he say Makina? He said Makina. Also, why is he talking to robots? Whatever. We gotta... I hope I hope when we get the big enemy, he goes, Wow, that's a big Makina. Some big Mac, you know, you got there. This is really nice doing this little side quest for these weapons because I'm getting a bunch of captures too. Dude, this thing is so tanky. My post-game character still can't beat it in one turn. Enough. Unless I haste it or quick hit. Alright. We got the Alaskan same. Son of a all this hiding inside that little tent. I like how Titus missed the bird, but Orin hit it. <laughs> hey, you. Makina. Alright, so we'll go do... the... ones. Here we go. And we'll see if that's all the ones we need. I forgot to check if I had four of the other ones, but given that a lot of times they show up in twos, my guess is I probably do. Oh, while we're here, I can show the thunder strat, maybe. If I can get there. I don't remember where it's at. If it's on this screen or... Past the end. Why there's Machina in the desert? Like if they're just wandering around from home, or if they're like a defense mechanism for anyone trying to get through the desert to find home? That might be what it is. They just kind of let them loose in the desert so they can stop anyone that's trying to travel to home. Combing the desert. Did we find anything? We ain't found crap. We 
Is it here? Yeah, I think it's right here. It's an ambush. Don't you think we're being a bit too literal, sir? So, here's the, if you equip a uh, no encounters weapon, here's where you can abuse the lightning, I think, I think. So you walk around in a circle like this, and the lightning will always strike when you get to the hole. So you know exactly when it's going to strike, and it's way easier to dodge. So this is the easiest way to get 200. eyeballs. I don't remember there being eyeballs here. Are you sure there's eyeballs here? Am I getting played? Can I get some love in the chat for Wit? That is amazing. Thank you so much. Your boy is back, and how I have missed you all so much, especially you, Death. I hope you have been safe and well and been making it rain glorious content. Wow. I've been great, man. Out of my way! Out of my way! Of channeling his inner Arnold. Should I do the stones? I don't even remember how it works. I know you have to walk up to it and hit square, and then you just have to do them all, and then you get the weapon. I don't know. Just like everything in this game, you just pray at it, and it works. So I think Quackdars appear more by the stones. It's a bit easier to capture. Because they're pretty annoying to capture. Ten of them. Is that Waka Balboa? face is the best response to puns. This fits so well. Like, like I see your pun, <coughs> and it was clever, but I ain't laughing. I need four of these things. I've only found two. You know what I just realized? I have to defeat the eyeball enemy because he drops the weapons. I can beat him. He 
It can't be too hard, right? The monster creations usually aren't that bad. It's the original creations and some of the area creations that are freaking wild. Monster creations are usually easier. He only has 150k HP. Easy win. Alright, this is number three, right? We are, but not at the moment. At the moment, we're just focused on getting four viewers. We're gonna unlock this floating enemy, we're gonna beat him for triple AP weapons, we're gonna bribe a giant worm, and then we're gonna customize special weapons to get super strong. That's the plan. Yo, yet, yeah, think of the 383. Thank you, thank you. Oh man, you hit the 9999. Let's go. You're right, this is kind of the first game where the floating eye enemies aren't a big deal. Usually they're really strong. I mean, there are floating enemies in the final dungeon, floating eye enemies in the final dungeon. They're also like all over the place. And they don't really do much other than sometimes cause confuse. Boom! Oh, we hit the 10. Hit the 10k, thank you guys. There he is. We'll go ahead and just capture stuff on my way. Also, is that a sphere I see? How's it going, SJ? Great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Okay, seriously, what are the names of these enemies? Channeling their inner Final Fantasy VII. Super weird enemies. Nope, the Dark Aeons are not in this version. Welcome back, Limit. We're about to break the game. Coming back just in time. Hey, hold it steady! Why am I doing this? What do you see there, my lord? I thought that was going to be the whole thing. Oh, I was just thinking. This is important. No fooling around. You're going to spoil it. <laughs> it's so bad. for posterity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, Braska, a hearty laugh. <laughs> that was like so real, like he was so mad. You're gonna spoil it. That was like wahaha if you've ever heard one. I'll spread that laugh around the internet instead of the tightest one. First Strike is so good. I forgot how good First Strike was. I was thinking like, First Strike is really good because of Great Marlboro. Because it saves that fight from being awful. Hey look. Tired of being struck by lightning? 
Um, but the reason First Strike is so great in this game is that it doesn't just give you, like, your attack quicker. It gives you an additional attack. So, when the fight starts, you get an attack, and then everything plays out like normal. So if you notice there, Titus got two turns at the start of every fight. Because he already goes first. But then he also gets an additional attack for First Strike. Which is pretty wild. And if you have all three of your characters with first strike weapons, you all you get three turns before the fight starts. You're count. So you like get set up with haste and everything before the fight starts, which is pretty good. Yeah, here we go. How's it going, Pojo? Thank you for the good luck. All right. Time to go see if we can break the game into many little tiny pieces. We should have everything we need to make weapons for everyone, but only one really strong weapon, like one super level weapon, and then the other ones will just be I'll be right back. I need three more floating deaths. Did I only have one? Okay. Let's check the other ones too while we're here. What do I need left from the calm lands? I need like Malboros. That's like pretty much it. I'll be right back. I have basilisks. Yo, Mavic, thank you for the gifted sub to Pojo. Oh, that's his full year, too. Give me some foam in the chat for Pojo. Been here a full year. I won't go so easy on you next time. So much of the gift of something mystery. Welcome back, man. 31 months. Holy cow. Next week on Monday or Saturday, if I do a bonus stream this weekend, we're finally going to get the 60 monthers. Okay, so we got. Floating eyes. Uh, four viewers. Ooh, we need evil eyes from Macalania. Macarena. Floating deaths might be a bit annoying. Let's go to M -m 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 Macarena. Here we go. Yeah, I think I got Arimon because I already had my capture weapons. So I was, like, capturing stuff as I was running through. So I think we're good on that. Now, where can we fight... Float? I th probably in the forest, right? Yeah, so Saturday is technically John Day. Saturday is the five-year anniversary, officially. Uh, but I don't normally stream on Saturdays, but I might stream on Saturday. Depends on what we're doing this weekend. I know I'm. I know we're going out to uh, Children's Museum. 
for the kids. Oh, I hit the... Alright, butterfly time. Uh, we're going out with the kids this weekend, but I might be able to do... Bonus stream this weekend. There's a couple things I had in mind that I would like to do for a bonus stream. That butterfly was giving me the business. Yeah, I remember why this is so bad. Because, <laughs> like, the freaking hitboxes for the butterfly, it's hard to tell. John Day is the anniversary, like, um, every month is the day that everyone's resub happens. What? Where are my encounters? Hello? <laughs> Just got through this whole screen with no encounter? <laughs> it's called John Day because... Flushing noises. Encounters? Hello? Do the, do the encounters break when you start the butterfly game? What the heck? going on. That's so weird that they don't come back once you're done with the butterfly game. You are not the Pokemon I'm looking for. Yeah, it became John Day because when we first got subs... I was testing the alerts to see if they worked. And so I did the test alert button and it said John is subbed. Just because it comes up with a random name when you press test. And the whole chat was like, who the heck's John? <laughs> I was like, I'm testing it. Say your prayers. And they're like, well, who's John? So that it just became John Day. Maybe on Saturday I do a Vampire Survivor stream. Play more Vampire Survivor. Booyah! Booyah! Uh, no, uh, Ben's birthday is in October, so we still got a while. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Simon's birthday is in August, though. It's closer. See ya. John Tiss. not seeing this eyeball enemy. He might be in the field and not in the forest. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what's so great about doing it this way, is we're not wasting any time. Because this whole time I'm capturing stuff. So. was on the John when I subbed. Does that make me John Day? Nice, getting a lot of chimeras. Ooh, 
good luck making a Wikipedia of 4-8 lore. It, like, changes every week. Although we do have... We do have our never, never dying memes. Like John Day and the sauce and TBN. Snake boat. And death you boat. Keep your soup in the toilet. In the diorama. <laughs> in the fajita dilla. <laughs> I'd rather not remember the fajita dilla. Characters broccoli. <laughs> yeah. I was going lower gas prices. You have my favorite name. I agree with your name on an emotional level. I hate that map. It's on me, Lou. I put the heat in if we. It might be the dumbest text I've ever read. Actually it was it was said out loud too. Pretty the dumbest line in any right video back. game ever. to be a glow stick. This guy does a marathon for two years about Fanta and he doesn't even drink it. Hey! Ifrit quote re real? Yes. It is a real quote in World of Final Fantasy. I don't even remember if the main character says it or Ifrit himself says it, but someone says I put the heat in Ifrit. I think Ifrit says it. says what the hog that's great <laughs> Titus didn't even get back to his spot yet we did like a little 360. Final Fantasy also has the Titus laugh in it, so you know it's good. Well, 
I want to play the no the new Nino Kuni mobile game. It's a mobile game, so no. But I've been seeing stuff about it, and I'm kind of interested in it. I kind of want to see what it's like, but I don't want to waste my time because I know it's a mobile game, and I won't play it for more than two weeks. But it looks cool. The problem is, I think it's based on Nino Kuni 2. You're counting on me. Which I haven't even beaten yet. And I need to. Uh here we go! Yeah, Nino Kuni 2 is on Trophy Quest. Nino Kuni 1 is one of my favorite games. Nino Kuni 2 didn't capture me the same way. So I didn't like go out of my way to finish it. I just kinda played it a bit and then said, eh, we'll do it later for Trophy Quest. I did enjoy it, but it just didn't like. Because it's very different from the first game. But the first Nino Kuni 1 is an absolutely amazing video game. Uh, let's go ahead and Spear Grid a little bit. <coughs> Since we're in the Omega Dungeon and things actually hurt. Does anyone know if there's a better place to fight floating deaths? Because there's a lot of enemies in this dungeon. And we might be here a while if I don't know where to go. It's probably just gonna be random though. Wait, yeah, don't they spawn an inside Sin, too? That would be better, wouldn't it? There's less enemies there. I don't think the guidebook tells me spot. Well, I know it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't tell you, like, spots they show up, it just tells you areas they show up. We're counting. Yeah, here we go! The wiki says they spawn only in Omega Dungeon? Oh yeah, we get this cool cutscene. I forgot about that. Whoa! I'm... Almost positive they show up in Sin. Like, pretty freaking certain they show up in Sin. Let's see what the guidebook says. The guidebook does not tell you where enemies spawn. Like, even the areas. Not in the bestiary. Sin has... wait. Yeah, Sin has Arimans. Wait, wait. We're count. It'd be nice to get some of the Omega Ruin stuff done early. Hopefully we get these floating deaths sooner rather than later. Because I want to do this before the end of Phantathon today. We'll chill around this area first, see what we find. Ooh, that's a rare enemy. Also an annoying one. How's it going, Blockbuster? 
was thinking back to earlier stream where the faith mentioned of Titus about the Machina War, the summoners of Yevon were being defeated by Xanarkin's Machina, and that got me thinking, what were the summons before the faith were made? They were just people, right? Spawn mostly where you find the Albed book. Where's that? It's like halfway through the dungeon, isn't it? Also, I want to bring Lulu in the Well, actually, forget that. If I'm going to do this, then I don't need to worry about leveling her up. Oh, sure. Cast death on the guy that's already dying. Cool story, bro. So I actually want to make sure Yuna is out of the party. Case we get a Malbro. Because I want to bring her in. Titus' first strike. Would you look at that. Well, I've been saving this one for you! Yo, nice flip. The epic skateboarder trick. Yeah, it would be nice if we could capture with overdrives. At least you can capture with, like, skills. Which I should probably be using more of, but I'm still, like, out of ether. limit for capture weapons. It's tempting, but hate to waste it on a capture weapon. But if you're already going to get that character's ultimate weapon that has break damage limit... Nice! No problem! Maybe I should stay here. Since I found one. Two more. Yeah, the um, the state of play sale is up already, and it kind of sucks. The other sale they have up is better. We don't need to grind any ultimate weapons. The only ultimate weapon that would be nice to have that we're not going to be getting because it's too grindy is Wakos. Uh, 
Orans will get naturally. Yunas we already have, Titus's we already have, Blues I don't want, Goofy's I don't want, Mario's I don't want. Hey, it's a ton hurry. It could be that my right? Or a much better one. so annoying to kill because you have to watch the animation every time. Yeah, I was going to try it without him. Um, but maybe we can... Like, that shouldn't take too long. It's only one of every enemy, so... And I think I already had most of them. I had my capture weapons at that point. So yeah, we should be able to get them pretty quickly. So we'll have to add that to our list of things we want to do. Alright, come on. Let's get these floating deaths. Please. It's not a floating death. Sir. Grenades. sensors. I think uh, Don Tomberry's the best because he counters every attack so it's really fast. But I was saying earlier, like every enemy in the Thunder Plains has a really weird name. The enemies in this area aren't bad. Hey, we finally got one of these guys. I was about to mention him. So this dude's really cool. He's kind of like the rare, special, difficult enemy. Um, yeah, he can be a jerk. He also casts haste on himself, which is... They look so cool. Good to sleep. You slow. I 
really like the cast animation for Jiraga. We're in 28 health. It looks like a mixture of Diablos and Bahamut or something. We fought the Monster Arena version, but... The normal version... The normal version looks like a boss, or <laughs> looks like a Monster Arena enemy. That Bahablos. I'm gonna go a little further because we haven't gotten another one. Oh, I need to take you out of my party. Thank you so much for the uh, 16 months, man. I missed that. Thank you. Right, maybe I'll chill right here. Nice. We got it. Thank goodness. That didn't take forever. chances. <laughs> There's only the one save point in Omega Dungeon, right? So I guess that is one nice thing that they did. The Omega Dungeon has only gave you one save point because save points give you full everything. And they can make getting through dungeons pretty easy because you can just spam everything and get all your MP back. Alright, so last thing we need to do is capture one of everything in the, um, the cave with, uh, Yojimbo. I can almost guarantee that the enemy we're missing is the ghost. Here we go! Because that enemy is, like, super rare. Tomberry's in there too? Maybe Tomberry also though. Beep bop beep beep boop bop beep 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 lee boop boop beep bop boop beep bop boop beep bop beep boop. Did you say goes? Hey, you're not Jimmy. for me. Yep. A wicked bot. Oh, yes, finally. Ethers. Uh, I don't really want to... Oh, why not? It'll be fun, I guess. I was going to say I don't want to waste my time fighting this thing, but it'll be fun to see if we can beat it. The 
Oh my god, Waka's runaway animation is so funny here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the way his hand like goes up and down is so funny looking. I wonder if no blaze will work. Another turn already. Why are you? Why are you cheating? Uh, you need piercing to do damage to him. I can't armor break. How about this? The sisters aren't like strong enough to survive stuff yet, unfortunately. Like they're strong, but then they get blasted. your powers. Yeah, I have a feeling this thing might not have much HP because I only did a little bit of damage in the crew already. Wow, that did not do much damage. What the heck? Where's my damage? Pyra. has super mega defense. Maybe it doesn't have much magic defense. No! I revive or auto life. Why don't you life Mindy? Ah. Uh -huh. yourself. Taking a break. Cindy, revive someone. Thank you. Cindy, revive someone. just gonna spam Ultima now, I think this fight's over. Well, Simon doing max damage. <laughs> I love how Titus runs in and then dies. Survive it. Probably not. Yeah. 
we didn't seem super fast, so if we were set up, we could probably auto-life every turn and beat him. We took 10 hours to do it, but...